What does it take to climb the hardest route of your life? Six months ago, I took a lattice training assessment to see where my strengths and weaknesses lay within my physical climbing ability. Since then, I've been working on a training plan with the lattice team to help me complete my trad climbing project in Norway. I've been cleaning the route, working on the moves, and if I manage to do the route, it could be the hardest climb I've ever done. Today, I'm gonna share with you some of the secrets of my training that I have been doing, and we're gonna start with the kilter board. So the first session that I'm going to show you is a max bouldering effort session. For all the sessions within this video, I'm going to be referring to the Lattice app, which is on my phone. So I'm using the Lattice Performance Coaching Plan, and they actually have a discount on this at the moment, and I'll tell you about that later. For this session, the max board efforts, I essentially have to find boulders that are maximal effort. I should be able to get up them but they're going to take me a number of attempts so I've cranked the kilt board over to 60 degrees and I'm going to find a bunch of like seven C's and I'll see if I can get up them. I think it could take me a few attempts to warm into it. Usually I can't do seven C straight off the bat but that's good that's what the max board efforts is it should be like trying hard hopefully getting up the problem uh, but with a good few attempts hard bouldering basically. Yeah. If we go into the app, it kind of gives us the exercise and then a description of the exercise. So for this one, it's complete 25 to 60 moves within the session. And you should be aiming for about a minute rest per move. So if I've just done five or six moves on that, I should be aiming for a five or six minute rest before I go onto the next climb. Next problem, another 7C. We'll see how this one goes. Oh, I'm not feeling too bad today, actually. That was not too bad. That was like another 70. I dropped the last move, but I need to ramp it up, don't I, folks? So when you log the sessions, the really nice thing about the performance coaching plan is that information automatically goes to your personal coach who's written the plan for you. Then they can get back in touch with you. They can give you help and support. When I started out doing the program, I put a couple of sessions together in one session which wasn't very good and then ollie got back to me and said oh you might want to split those up do you need to be rested for that particular session I should be going a bit harder. Maybe I should try something a little bit harder. When I started doing this plan, and even up to actually quite recently, the seven C's on the board have been like max efforts. That's kind of what I've been, you know, I might get up one in a session or I've been projecting it a little bit, and then I've managed to get up it. But yeah, no, I feel like that's kind of coming together. So I'm not sure, have I been resting recently? And then maybe the, the benefits are coming through. Yeah, sight. Nice. nice. Yeah, so we're actually about halfway through this session. This session's only 30 minutes long. I honestly actually wasn't expecting it to go quite that well. Really, I should be falling off the problems or doing them fourth or fifth attempt or even potentially not actually getting up them. So we're going to do a couple more problems. I'll ramp up the level a little bit and then we'll move on to the, the next session or the second part of this session. I think I can just find it in Magos's logbook. 70 plus 50. Oh, there's no footholds. 
That's hard move. It's a one move wonder. Toe clamp that or something. And... Hmm. So I'm going to try this problem one more time, but that's all I've got time for within this particular session. It's interesting because previously, if I was doing my own sessions, I would have just been really psyched to try and carry on and do some more moves and do the problem. But having the actual training plan makes you stick to certain things. I mean, I think it's quite nice because it's a little bit more structured. You know when the, the beginning, the end is, and um, yeah, you can just crack on with the next thing. Oh. So we're at the end of our 30 minutes, that's the max board efforts, and now we're going to ramp it up, we're going to go on to the project session. Originally I was just doing the max board effort sessions and it was an hour of that, and then gradually and more recently we've brought in the project sessions, and now I'm doing 30 minutes of each. So that's adapted as we've gone through the program. The project session is going to be a little bit harder. Uh, realistically, I should be doing two to three moves, probably not getting up the problem. And yeah, I should be like really trying to pull hard. The real bibliography. Yeah, that's the one. It gets 8A. It's going to be desperate. It's going to be absolutely desperate. <laughs> That's hard. That's very hard. Maybe this is a bit too much, actually. I don't know. Come on, Come on. Oh, that's hard. I did a move. One move, <laughs> the shortest move of the problem. I would say the amount of time that I spend training since doing the lattice plan, I would say hasn't increased. If anything, maybe it's become less, but I feel like it's shorter, more sharper sessions rather than potentially like the longer sessions that I used to be doing. Ooh, that's tricky. So I think when you are traveling and you have projects which are very different, so earlier in the year I went to Patagonia, later this year I'm trying to do a really hard trap project. It's very difficult to try and combine those two because they're so at each end of the spectrum. It was built in and whilst I was in Patagonia it was more about maintaining what I had built up and not trying to lose too much of it. Oh yeah, that was better. I actually got the foot placement right that time. I feel like Alex might have just put that end bit on to just finish the boulder. Yeah. You know, it just, it's not really in keeping with the start of the boulder. It feels, it definitely feels much easier. I'm not sure if I maybe slightly overcooked it with the difficulty. I don't know. I should be trying hard moves. I should be trying hard moves. I've seen a video of Alex doing this, he just makes the top look about V2. <laughs> Crazy. Ah, brilliant. I wonder if I could, if I cranked it back a little bit, I could do a few more moves in a row. It kind of looks doable, but I just know it won't be because I know how hard it was on 50. 
It's weird because it looks not that difficult. <sighs> oh. that, was be cool. that was better, I actually did some moves. Same. Did I look like Alex? You looked like Alex. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But on 40 degrees rather than 50. Yeah, I mean, it looked, it's because you're wearing that new t-shirt. Yeah, <laughs> I think it might be because of the new t-shirt. Okay, let's try this move. So it's two foot moves. Come on, Steve. Come on. Nice. Come on, mate. Nice. <sighs> Oh, Ooh. I'm quite happy with that. One move in to last move. Maybe in the next project session, I can try and link it all together. Cool, yeah, yeah happy. So now we're gonna head over to the fingerboard. We're gonna do a session on there, but then we're gonna come back to the kilter board and I'm gonna share a problem with you that is related to my project and you guys can have a go on it at home. So the next session I'm gonna do is a fingerboard session using the 10 mil edge in a half grimp position on the lattice rung. I'm going to do 15 second hangs, three minute rest times six. So I'll use a pulley, take some weight off to get to that 15 seconds. I'll start the timer on the app. That'll count me down and measure my rest time. So within the training plan, we've been doing it on like a four week cycle, three weeks of building intensity and then one week of deload or down intensity. And then those cycles build up throughout a 12 week period. Yeah, I think it is actually worth saying that usually I wouldn't pile all these sessions on top of one another in one day. Just so you know, if you are interested in a lattice performance coaching plan like the one I have, but for your specific goals, then you can get 50% off your first month. All the information is in the description, so go and get strong. The next session that I'm gonna do is an ANCAP session. So this is new to my training program. I haven't actually done this one yet. It's 12 to 16 move problem done six times. Again, like maximum intensity, but I should be getting up the problem. So what I'm gonna do, because it says in the description of, of what to do, uh, is setting a problem that's a little bit specific to your project. So I've got the board on an angle that is relatively similar, so 40 degrees. So I'll get it as close as I can within the limitations that I'm working with. But if I set it on the kilter board, then you guys can have a go at home, try repping it. Okay, so I need to look for some side pulls and some finger jams, and maybe some hand jams as well. <laughs> maybe I could use this as a thing little fist jam. No, I think I'll stick to normal holds, but I'll just try and like replicate movements. It's going to be very, very loose this. Incredibly loose. Starting at the bottom. What is it? That one? Right, do we have to... Ah, middle. Ah, yeah, it has one of those on it. I'll go for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that, 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 that. Uh, so I've got, starting here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ah, oh, I thought I had twelve. Match. Match. Twelve match. Okay, so I set my problem. Absolutely nothing like the real thing, I don't think. I haven't actually climbed it yet, but the plan is I'm gonna climb it for my first rep of the ANCAP session, and then maybe it might need a little bit of tweaking. I get a five minute rest in between, so I'm gonna do one rep, five minute rest, one rep, do that six times, and I should be absolutely blowing a gasket by the end. It looks, it looks like Norway. 
actually. Now I stand back and look at it. It's very, very Scandinavian. Oh, you know what? I was actually pretty much bang on, I think, for my level of fatigue right now. I'm actually quite impressed with my setting there. What's it called on the Kilter board app? Um, Project Left PE. It's a good it's a good intensity actually this sort of training yeah. is a lot of the sort of training i've done in the past a lot of endurance and a lot of power endurance the strength based stuff and the really hard bouldering that's the kind of stuff i haven't done as much of i've been getting into it more over the last few years but in my previous past you know yeah. 10 years ago when i was when i was a teenager and stuff it was all so endurancey and power endurancey but I really like it when I can get back on this kind of stuff and you're just like, oh, I feel a bit of a burn. That was lower than last time. Oh, I'm, so, I'm just so smoked for that last move. So that's the end of the session. Like I said, if you are interested in a Lattice performance coaching plan, then all the information is in the description of this video. Head down there for your discounts. Subscribe to the video. See you in the next one.